I'm going to show you how you can automatically request regular reviews, photo reviews, and video reviews for your store. All right, an automatic review request allows you to automatically send a review request from each customer within a certain time after they've placed an order. So let's go through how you'd set up a campaign automatically to ask customers for photos and videos. The first thing that you'll have to do is you'll have to go to request. This is on the left hand side of the menu and you go ahead and you click automatic. Now I already have a campaign in here, but if you don't have one, you will go ahead and you'll click new auto request campaign. Now I suggest that you name your campaign and we'll go ahead and we'll complete the section. So the first section is the what to request section. Now you'll see that you can request reviews and then photos and videos are optional or you can only you can choose to request just photos and videos. So maybe you only want videos. That's what I have up here. And I disabled photo uploads. So customers will only be able to upload a video with this automatic review request. The other thing that you can do is you can decide on the review type, but since I'm only requesting videos, I'm probably not going to be asking for a store review, just a video review. The next step is to choose the incentives. Now adding an incentive is optional, but we do recommend that you add incentives for photos and videos. The reason is because Photos and videos are time intensive for your customers to make, and you definitely have to reward them for their time. So to add an incentive, go ahead and click add incentive. And you can decide to give a discount, points, or cash back. Um, now, if you want to give loyalty points, you'll have to use smile.io. So go ahead and go to smile.io and you can link that here or you can just add a normal discount, which is a percent off or a dollar amount off, or you can refund part of your customer's last order. Now, to be clear, this is for Shopify. So uh, if you have Wix, you'll only be able to do discounts or points. So I'm going to show you the discount. Now, depending on the type of product that you have, let's say you have an average order value of 250, you could probably do a fixed amount off of $10, or if you have um, a smaller store, you can do something like 20% off. I would make sure that it's a good amount of percentage off just so customers are really incentivized to create this, this video or the type of review that you want. Now there are other options here. You can do one per order, you can generate unique codes, um, or you can make sure that every, that a photo or video is required to earn the reward. Um, so these are advanced options that you can use. I'm just gonna do 20% off. Let's go ahead and save. Okay, the incentive is added successfully. Now we're going to choose when to send. Now, if you know that your customer receives their order 10 days after their order is fulfilled, maybe you wanna wait a couple days, so you say 12 days, or you can decide um, after the order is created, if you have maybe a digital product or something like that, you can say, okay, usually it takes people 21 days to get through this digital product. Um, so I'm going to say after the order is created. But I'm going to say after the order is fulfilled, two weeks after is going to be a good enough time to send this request. Now, the next thing that you can see here are conditions. So you can create multiple automatic campaigns based on something like what the person bought, their region, their order value. So if you have um, an order value that is maybe over $300, so you say order total is, you know, 300, is, um, sorry, greater than 300, then you can change your incentive so that you say, okay, I'm going to give them $30 for a video review because they're a good customer and you know that they are going to come back and their order amount was worth it to offer them that incentive. So you can add a lot more, um, it's, or you can add a lot more conditions like their country and you can create multiple uh, campaigns based on these conditions. So this is where you can get really personalized. This is where you can get really smart on your automatic review request. Um, so that's this section, when to send. And then you can customize your message. So this is your email subject. And then you can also add uh, variables here. So this is the little variables button. And you can choose 
to add review stars. This is probably going to be really important for you because your customer can just click on the stars to leave a review. And then we will automatically generate what the discount is going to be in here. And I will also show you that you can add photos, um, just drag and drop them in here or enter a URL. Okay, that is it. Now, the next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click save. And I highly recommend that you test your message before you send it. And you can just use this test button here. Once you're happy with everything, you go ahead and you click watch. And that is it. That is how you send an automatic review request. If you are a larger store, make sure that you are using these conditions. It's going to be very, very important for you. Uh, we have some other videos on our channel that talk about integrating with Klaviyo, one-time review requests. So make sure that you like and subscribe and you will get a lot of tips and tutorials on how to gather more reviews for your store. Again, if you have any questions, make sure that you contact our support. We are happy to help you with anything. Okay, bye.